Okay, so once you've logged into Device Magic, uh, Simone has got the details, the login details. So once you've logged into Device Details, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to invite devices. So you'll see there on the right hand there, Invite Device. You just click on that and then you put the numbers in plus two seven, plus two seven, and what's the first number? Sorry. Uh, 083387 so it's 83387 uh, 4718 4718 uh, and you press invite and then um, you can also invite the other one so invite another device O six one nine one eight plus two seven six one nine one eight six six four six and right and then the last one zero seven one Nine nine eight one five eight four. Nine nine eight one five eight four. So that's how you invite devices. We've invited all these guys, but if you need to invite more guys, that's how you do it. Um, so they've been invited. They will get it on their on their phones. So the next thing you're going to do is you want to create the forms. Now, I've already created some forms, casual payment form, credit card payment submissions, petty cash request form, petty cash submission form. These are actually very simple to create. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go new form. So let's just do the shell job report form. So we're going to call it shell semi permanent job report. Board. There we go. Shell semi-permanent job report. Um, you can put a description in there. Report to be completed when installing semi-permanent. Okay, so that's fairly simple. Uh, and then we're going to get to the questions. So the first question you're going to do is uh, site name. So the guy can put the site name in there. Uh, we don't need multiple lines. We only need one line. We can go to sh advanced settings. Um, and then the only thing you're going to change here is you see where it says required. I mean, you must always put a, a site name in there. So if you change it to always, what pretty much happens is you won't be able to submit the form if he hasn't put a site name in. Okay, so that's the first question. The next question that you want to do is you want to take another free text question. Actually, no, I think the next one we're going to do, yeah, another free text question. So what will we do here? Uh, job description um, is to say what you've come to do. So yeah, you've come to uh, install bases, if you've come to install flags, or you've come to install anything, pretty much. You know, so it gives you that option. So you can do it like this, or because this is a semi-permanent thing, we can also just maybe look at it and kind of cancel this, remove, and we go to a select question. So we say job description. Since this is semi-permanent, it's fairly straightforward. There's only a few things that the guys can do. So first option would be install basis. Second option install Bowl and flag and third option repair and there you go now it's going to show him three options 
Um, and then the other thing, make it required. So he needs to say what he was doing there. That's fine. That's the job description. Um, then we're going to give him a next uh, one, which is free text. Let's just call it comments. Because this way it will show him um, what uh, you can write anything that happened. So, yeah, I got on site and I couldn't install because it was windy or um, I installed it but it took four hours because the rock ground was very hard or whatever, you know, whatever the situation is. Um, and here you'll do allow multiple lines. Um, and you can don't, don't make need to make this required. Maybe it's just a job. It's just quick. It's just finished. So it's fine. Uh, then what we're going to do is you go down here. You'll see image question. You put the image question. You go take a, um, actually I want to show you something else. Let's remove the image question. Um, you can do a subform and you called it pictures. All right. Um, and it's always active. And then under the subform, you can drop a few of these. I would suggest maybe even. Now you need to think how many pictures do you want? Give the guy the option to take as many pictures as he wants. So image question, picture one. Um, we're not going to require it. Actually, we need to require it at least one picture for the first one. The second one, picture two. Uh, we don't need to require that one. Um, Picture three, picture four, picture five, picture six. Okay, so there we go. Then it's all done. The last thing we're going to put in is, if you go there, you'll see there's one that says location. We're going to drop location question in there. Um, we go required always, um, timestamp, geostamp, and then here, determine as soon as form opens. So in other words, what this will do is it will give you the actual GPS coordinates of where the form was completed. So if they're standing at the site, it will give you the site's GPS coordinates. So there's a couple of other things that we can also build in here now, um, which I think might be a great idea. Uh, that would be to check because you know we have some of the bases that are bigger and some of the bases that are smaller and we have some of the frames are we using we putting different frames at places and different systems but in any case this form is good for now we can we can we can adjust it a little bit as we go along so there we go then we save and exit And there we go. There the form is done. So in other words, if you go to forms now, you will see that shell semi-permanent job report. I will create the other shell site report just now as well that the guys need to fill in when they get to any other shell sites because it's fairly important that it gets done. Um, all right, so there we go. There's one other thing I want to show you here. Manage groups. Now this is where you can see or where you can uh, write up who must get which forms. So for instance, we've got a Vavasati form. Let's create a new group and call it shell semi firm or let's just call it shell. We create a new group. We call it shell. Now when we go to our forms, um sure I wonder where is shall 
Here it says groups default. You can click on it and you can say that it must just go to the shell groups. So in other words, now only people in the shell group will be able to see the shell form. That is if you want to split the forms up so that not, not everybody sees all the forms. Otherwise it can get a little bit um, difficult. Okay, when you do the groups, let's go back to dashboard. You can go to your devices that's been allocated there. So you can see here, um, if you click on the devices, it tells you whose device it is. And you've got the groups. So you can now here also allocate me and say that I should see the shell of Avasati and the default group. So if you want, if you have people that need to see more than one form, you can allocate them to different groups. And there we go. So that's how you set up the forms. Um, and there's the organizational key that the guys can put in if you need to register more devices. Uh, it is as simple as that. From now on, the form is there. So if you want to change the forms, it's actually very simple. You can also just go into the forms and you can change whatever you want. Oh, one more thing, you'll see there's destinations on the forms here. So if you click on destination, so you click on that too, um, you will see that it does two things. It sends one to an email and the other one is it puts it into an Excel database, um, where, which you can also access. So let's just edit this because you want to see when people have done it. So destination you can write here uh, email um, and then over here you can just add more people so there we can go and we can add traffic dot at gmail dot com and there you go. You can add any extra email addresses. If you don't put the email addresses in right, it obviously won't send. You can also have a destination from field. But we won't use that. It doesn't matter. Um, and there you go. You don't want to send through your server. Just use the device magic site you can change the look and feel if you want but we're not going to bother about that you go update destination and there you go now you will see that the emails will come to admin and traffic there you go uh, it's easy to change that there so that's how you set up device magic the, the dashboard it really is simple it's not very difficult so if you need to make any changes you can i will also work on it and get the other form up for you in the meantime.